There it is. <laughs> Impossibility. Uh, okay, a very, very famous mom is asking for our help with her kids, Victoria Beckham. She says she wants our help on a very special project. If you follow her on Instagram, she recently posted that she has an entire bucket full of her children's baby teeth, and she wants to know what to do with them. Thoughts? Well, Sabrina on Facebook wrote us, she says, I have a bag full of teeth, including all the kids' teeth and my four wisdom teeth. I also have a bag of their first hair clippings, a box with dried up umbilical cords. My kids think it's creepy. I don't know why my instinct tells me I should keep it. Sabrina, thank you for sharing that. You sound like my mom. Uh, I'm surprised she didn't save my first bowel movement. She <laughs> essentially has you know, the, the hair clippings. There, there are boxes at home that we go through, and it's so much fun to go through, I have to say, of, of every, like, scrap of paper that I drew a picture on. And, and there's even the date. She would write the date, and she would write what it, what it actually is, because as a gifted two-year-old, I was more interested in abstract art than figurative art. Um, but she also, like, even saved stuff like my first novel. Yeah, <laughs> It's two pages and approximately... <laughs> 10 words long. So That's thanks, so Mom. Cute. Bravo. I love it. That's bravo. So the box I have, and I didn't realize that I have turned into my mother, who also, like your mom, Jess, has kept everything. So I actually have not opened this in ages. But then I was like, well, what did I keep of Marquesa's? And then I was like, oh my God, I did keep her very first hair clipping. Because And then, but why? What am I going to do with this? I don't know what I'm going to do well, with this. I, I mean, I'd love I kept, to see that one day. She's been looking at it. Trust me. I, I, kept, yeah. I got her first pair <gasps> of runners. Oh, that's like, so cute. You oh, forget. These shoes are that's so why adorable. we do it just for these and moments. This, one, this is beautiful. Oh my god! I, you know, I forgot. I kept, you know, like cute little things like her. Is that a diaper? shoes. Oh yeah, it's a diaper. Did you save her? I, I kept her baptismal oh. shoes. Because I forgot, I, parents forget how little their babies are when they're babies. And so I kept this cute little thing to be like, oh, her little butt fit in there. That's so cute. But um, this one I'm doing just to, to irk the ire of all the, uh, the judgy parents out there. But um, I did keep her first Harvard onesie <laughs> also. So it's still dirty. I don't even think I washed it the reminder. last time she yeah. wore it. <laughs> yeah, so that's for all the parents out there who want to judge me. You know, I'm I'm gonna be the mom. I haven't got to the the baby teeth falling out stage yet, but I'm gonna be the mom with a bucket full of teeth because uh, you know I <laughs> I waited a long time to become a mom. It was not easy for me. I hang on to everything. Like for God's sake, I have like my grandmother's house coat still in my closet. I save every Aww. birthday card. I save every Christmas card because I, I tend to believe that these might be the last words that were ever written to me by this person. Like. It's getting bad though, because I've become a bit of a pack rat. My husband's very much like, throw it out, throw it out, throw it out, and I just can't. So I understand. I perhaps will be buried with a box of, you know, baby teeth. That might happen. So, <laughs> quite possible. I get the teeth thing. I mean, I'm not a parent, but I do have dogs. And, um, you know, our first dog, Marcus, isn't with us anymore. He died in 2015. So, you know, I've saved, I've preserved his collar. Here's his collar. It's safely Aww. preserved in a Ziploc. Aww, and then this, this is like his bandage. You know, when he died, he was wearing a bandage uh, around his foot. And then I, I think lots of people are going to be horrified by this next thing. But, you know, he died at home. It was very peaceful. Um, he ate peanut butter on the way out. And mm. after the moment, I, I, I smelled him. And Marcus had a funk. It was real funky. It was a real... Only a mother could love this funk. And, um, and they were particularly... That funk was strong around his ears. So what I, t what I did was I took a paper towel and I... I smeared some of his earwax so I could smell it once in a while. And so he, he, here's his earwax. You can see maybe like the little <laughs> stain of it. And yeah, that's Marcus. Oh, Marcus. I can still smell it. Lady, <laughs> that is like weirdly sweet. Yep. It's weirdly sweet. I, God, that's nice and strong still. I, I don't, but I don't do it very often. That's why you have to keep it in a plastic and mm. and preserve it. So I only take it out like a couple times a year. Anyway, it's still real strong, real funky. Love you. Uh, ah, yeah. that's speechless. Nice that you that. Thank you. <laughs> Sharing is caring. We love yeah. you. Um, oh, I, Lord. Uh, I I really don't like to do it on this oh, note. Yeah. But Ashley, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No problem. <laughs> it's been real interesting. I've learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs>